Hi, I'm Joe Hale. You're watching a special market edition of The Joe Show, sponsored by The Magnet Group. Today, we're going to look at the real estate market. We'll talk about the size and scope of the market. We'll talk about some creative ideas that you can present to realtor clients or potential realtor clients. We have a special interview with a realtor in the Philadelphia area. And, of course, we're going to have lots of products to show you that will fit in this market for a variety of different promotions. All that and more coming up. All right, now if you pay attention to the news, you know the housing market has been up and down the past couple years, but that doesn't mean people in the real estate industry don't need to market their services. But let's look at how big this industry actually is. Now, according to the National Association of Realtors, there's over 1 million realtors in this country. Now, that's someone who's different than just a real estate agent. They are actually schooled and they're a member of an elite group of people who sell homes. Okay, but real estate industry, there's over half a million jobs out there. There's a lot of people who need to market their services because 59% of them, real, uh, of those real estate agents, are self-employed. And let's look at this. 35,000 real estate companies in the U.S. alone, and that's according to justrealestate.org. So there's a lot of people out there, there's a lot of potential, and they need your help. Okay, despite the challenges in real estate, it is a growing industry. Since 2003, it's grown by 44%. So there are a lot of people out there, a lot of people who need your help. Okay, so how do you help a realtor beyond just selling them a key tag and just being a vendor for them? Well, here's one statistic I find very interesting. 91% of them, and this is according to the Future of Real Estate Marketing blog, do not follow up after a house is closed. So you have a buyer at a table, you have a seller at a table, the, the deal is done, and they never follow up. That's where you can come and help a realtor. The other thing is, since they're self-employed, a lot of them are required to do their own marketing. They work as an independent contractor for the real estate company they work for, and they don't get any money from them. Maybe sometimes a very small stipend, but they have to do their own marketing. That's why they need your help. You are a professional marketer out there. You can show them where they can increase their market presence. They can go to home consumer shows and exhibit. They can do monthly mailers, maybe quarterly mailers. There's all types of of things that you know how to do that's going to be very valuable to real estate agents. So I sat down with Mark McCormick. Now he's a realtor in the greater Philadelphia area. I asked him some questions. Here he's going to explain to you the difference between a realtor and just a real estate agent. And he's also going to let you know how he markets his services. Uh, the big difference is the main difference is being a member of the National Association of Realtors and subscribing to their code of ethics. Um, most realtors are also members of the Pennsylvania Association or your respective state and your local county as well. Um, the other difference is, is the agents who are more buyer's agents, um, they're just licensed assistants if you will. They do a lot of the legwork and, and running around but they don't subscribe or pay their dues or their continuing education to be a member of the National Association of Realtors? Uh, of course, there are personal websites and, you know, uh, internet stuff like that besides uh, target mailings. Um, for the most part, my business is probably 80 to 90 percent direct referrals from past clients and my sphere of influence and, and friends. Now, one of the things that surprised me when I talked to McCormick was the fact that he does not have distributors calling on him. So I asked him, where do you get the stuff that you brand with your image? Um, yeah, we have an approved supplier, uh, supplier catalog. Um, a lot of my stuff I get through Merrill Corporation from Minnesota. Uh, I just kind of go through them because it's convenient. Um, I honestly don't know how their pricing stacks up with other companies. But now McCormick knows the importance of the Mark McCormick brand, so he does promote himself. And also, at the end of a closing, he has given pens at the past, but it's something he says that he has stepped away from. Uh, I did pens before for a little while. I actually haven't been doing the pens. Um, lately, I've been doing uh, gift cards to either Lowe's or Home Depot for, uh, for uh, people as a kind of a housewarming gift. Let them decide what they need. Mm -hmm. uh, oftentimes, I was told that's more practical than pens or, you know, flowers or mm -hmm. wine. Or, uh, so the one surprising thing about McCormick that I asked him, I said, do distributors ever call you? And he says they don't. He gets most of his products online. He gets a ton of email solicitations, but he never sees anyone in person. So I asked him, I said, you're your own marketing department. Would you be willing to sit down with someone who's going to help you plan out your marketing, who's going to show you products that will be effective, and also get you maybe use some social media? He said he was more than willing to do that, and actually he welcomes that. Okay, now I have two products from today's Joe Show sponsor, Magnet Group. Now, these are great for the real estate market. I'm going to show you two different magnets. Okay. 
We have a square uh, version here, and in front of that, I'm going to put here's one in the shape of a house. Ties in the realty, uh, real estate, cause of the home shape. Now, realtors need to be in front of their clients as much as possible because they never know when those clients are going to need their services. You know, they don't know when they're going to buy and sell until they get that call. So they need to send out things that will make it easy for their clients to contact them. And it's going to let the client see them as much as possible. Refrigerator magnets serve that bill. All right, so now let's look at some products that will be great for realtors and real estate agents. Now remember, a lot of agents are already using pens for the closing ceremonies, they're giving those pens when the mortgage papers are signed. But we got some other ideas for you, some other products that might work. You need to go and try and sell these to the agents. You gotta sell these to the realtors because they, the most of them are their own marketing department. They could really use your help with more than just showing them another pen. So let's look at some things. Okay, check out this. This is a web key mouse. And it's your standard mouse, it's, it is wireless mouth. And when I open it up, underneath here, you're gonna say this is a USB stick, okay? That gets plugged into a USB port of a computer and it's gonna launch the website of whoever the giver is. In this case, it's gonna be the realtor who's using it. So how can they use it? They can give it to potential clients or they can give it to a variety of different vendors that they work with. So anytime, every week, that realtor can go and update its listings and the user just has to plug this in, it's gonna launch that website and they're gonna see new listings for homes throughout the area. Okay, I got another idea for you here. Now, we see a lot in the way of key tags, okay? Realtors use key tags a lot. And here's a different shape for a key tag. It's small, and it's almost like a carabiner, and it's got a, three different rings, so you can have a house key on there, car key, garage key on there. So it's a great item for a realtor to use to give to a new homeowner at closing with the keys on there for the house, with the key for the garage up there, put their name and contact information on it, and because it's a little different, it's gonna stand out from your general variety key tag. All right, check out this. This is a can of sunflower seeds. It's great for a homeowner, especially people who buy houses in the spring because they can get this at their new home, sprinkle in, and they can grow some sunflowers and they'll think of the realtor. Also good promotion for realtor use. So they come grow your family with me. If you're running out of uh, room in your, new uh, your old house, we can go look at new houses. So again, you can logo this, brand this, and it's a neat idea. How about this for a real estate uh, agent? Now, people buy homes, okay? They need uh, portfolios, they need portfolios, they need things to stay organized. So this is a nice portfolio. You can see there's paper in here. So a new homeowner is gonna have to take notes on a bunch of things. They need to go to the store, hardware store, furniture store, to be able to get all the things they need for a new house. Even if they're going from one house to another, you always need new things at the new house. So this would help them keep organized. The realtor can emboss their logo on there. I like this to be used by <clears throat> a real estate company, okay? So this company is gonna give it to the realtors. Now, like, as I said, a lot of realtors are their own marketing departments. They need to come up with their own funds to do their promotional products. But you can really get in with some of the companies and suggest something like this to give to their uh, agents at the holiday times. So I'm gonna show you what it is. When I open it up here, you're gonna see there's an inside compartment, okay? So papers can be stored in there. I'm gonna take out this thing. Close it up. Now on the front here, I'm going to plug it in, and you're going to see that I'm going to turn on this button. Now it's a light. So what it is, it's a lighted clipboard. Here's your clip here. So a realtor, when they go around it, you know, to take memos and notes when they're working with a seller, they have to get all that first information down, how many rooms, how many bathrooms, those types of things. They have something to jot this down with. If they're in a basement, it's not really well lit, they have a little light here that's gonna help. If the appointment's at night, because a lot of people have to do these types of things after work and they're walking around the grounds of the house, again, it might be lit but not well lit, this little light would really help. So the real, uh, real estate company can use this, give it to all their agents, and again, it's real easy. I'm gonna pop that out. Stick it inside. When the realtor is done, they put all their information in. It's as easy as got a handle. They're going to throw it in the car, take it back to the office. I got one more idea. Now, there's a lot of different home consumer trade shows that go on all over the country, and a lot of different uh, companies go and exhibit at that. Furniture companies, siding companies, window companies, uh, people who will paint your house, people who will side dress. No matter what, there's a lot of different companies there. Realtors can go there, too, because people who are walking those uh, shows might be selling a house and looking for ways to repair things, to fix things up prior to selling it. So they can have their own little booth. They can market their services there. And why? Why not give out 
a non-woven polypropylene bag. They come in a lot of different varieties. I like this one, it's clear, so it's a little different. It's got generous size. Now the people walking the show floor are gonna need to pick up brochures and pamphlets. They need something to put them in. This would help them put it in there. Plus, with the realtor's name and information on there, they're gonna be seen all throughout the convention center. And since it's a, an attractive bag, a lot of people are using them now at grocery stores when they go grocery shopping, and they can pull that out in the grocery store. Again, the realtor is gonna have his name, number, and contact information seen all over over that grocery store all over town. All right, that's all we had for you today with this great market, the real estate market. Now remember, no one is going to come knocking on your door. You need to go knocking on their door. Hopefully we gave enough insight, enough information for you to be successful working with realtors and the real estate market. Thanks a lot for watching. This is ASI TV.